I don't have any desire to start a new world. I was thinking about that with the Citadel and I, the only thing that would push me to start a new world would be to do something like Vastin where it's very lore related, everything has got a purpose. Hey, there's Pixel. Streaming, FYI. Cool. Um, actually, I was just watching Pixel Brew's latest video from his single player world earlier today. It's really cool. He's got this awesome like temple thing. It's like a church temple that he built. Really like it. Came up with some really sharp solutions for getting up high on the build. <laughs> we'll be sure to interrupt constantly. <laughs> Everybody on the server is a comedian, FYI, in case you didn't know. So same idea here. We'll do cobblestone stairs there and solid stairs here eventually I might come back and change the solid stairs into andesite because we in case we don't want the color change but I figured the stuff that's up high would probably be a little bit colder looking anyway so to speak and then these go here wow not like that oh I'll say Stream says hi. Perfect. But yeah, to go back what you, what you were saying, uh, Electric Echo, I agree. I don't have any desire to, uh, to start a new world. I also don't want to watch anybody start a new world. I found the first, um, as much as I like the creators, I found the first few episodes of Hermitcraft to be, like when they reset the server, to be real challenging. I wasn't a, a fan just because I just I've seen it so often and it wasn't really my my thing and so many um, streamers and youtubers were doing the same thing with um, with the new content with 1.13 everybody reset so we didn't one of the things I chose to do on purpose with with the Citadel which is not the server but um, was to keep it persistent and and instead of spending time uh, updating or uh, grinding from zero back to 60 uh, I spent the time uh, fixing farms that broke with 1.13 and, and addressing those challenges which I think was really cool so now we're into the trickier parts uh, so there's our two stairs and it's just like stair sideways stair stair sideways stair that's not too bad okay I think I've got that in my head you watch I'm gonna get over here and I'm gonna completely forget what I'm doing so go stare. Oh, I just need to be just a little bit higher, just a teeny tiny bit higher. Let's move these closer to one another. Stare, sideways stare. Again, upside down or right side up. And then stare. And sideways stair. Let's make this one go this way, I think. I have to go check. So that has a little sideways on it. Yep. I'd say that looks right. It looks a little bit asymmetrical because I don't have the, the battlements up yet, but okay. Not as hard as I thought it was going to be, although I feel like I feel like this is a stair. I feel like if we do this, yes. I think that's how it went on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we did it. I like these little cobblestone wall things. They really add a lot. They really add a lot. Uh, it's feeling really plain. I think it's because there's no buttons on anything. Because over here, yeah, it's pretty plain. Also, this really pulls your eye away from this area. That's fine. Let's do the same over on this side. So take this down. And 
I think we just get rid of this one. No, it's this one. Or is it both? We know that one. So it's the one next to the middle. To go see what I did on this side. So we did not do that there. Do we like, do we prefer to have the stair or do we like that there's a little bit of a, a chunk there? I think I like it like that. Hole again. I'm not filling it in on purpose because I find it kind of funny, but uh, did we do that there? No, because we didn't get that far. We didn't get that far over this side. This side we need to take, take this out. What am I on here? Need to go up here. Yeah, we left, we're leaving that. That's the idea, I think. But this one, we're changing. I think that's the plan. really hard to see when you back up a little bit too far. So that there. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, everybody send really good vibes to Cosmic Dancer. She's been feeling sick the last day or two. I think she said she had the flu. Can we get some, some feel better hype in the chat? for Cosmic. I need to get my emote stuff sorted out too. I have to, first thing I'm doing, I'm actually going to be drawing Pixel Rifts is going to be doing getting some new emojis for his stream. Okay. This is one of those things that's really hard to talk about and do at the same time. <laughs> so sorry if I get quiet. Uh, I think we're doing okay. So there's one there and then everything else. And then, hmm. I gotta go look at the other side. So it's on the end, it's these blocks there. I think this is where the, the stone, these, the cobblestone things come in on the ends. Yeah. So I have, I only got one to make a couple more cobblestone walls. I was talking with uh, Grumpy Al last night about how ruined this city is supposed to be. Uh, and it's too bad because I really like that this isn't uh, like, this isn't a completed roof. I love the fact that it looks like it's busted up. Uh, but I, I guess I should probably complete it because there's some parts of it that are not meant to be old like the the functioning um defense of the city is supposed to be working it's not supposed to be be something that's that's uh decrepit uh let's change this block out for andesite and then we do cobblestone there i think that's where it was it's a lot of running back and forth today i apologize and yeah, so then that just takes the place of one of those buttons. Okay. So we have to get rid of this button here. So do the same thing while I think about it. Did I lose that button? There we go. See, the sun's going down again.
Jared, I really enjoy the new texture pack. Uh, there are some things that I don't know if I would implement myself personally, but there are other things that work out really, really well. Like, is there any gravel in here? There probably isn't because I want to talk about it and I don't have anything on me. Do I have any gravel in here? Um, yes. So this is the gravel block that Germsy designed. So it's, it's a brown gravel block, but it gives you so much more flexibility in the kind of stuff that you can do with paths, especially because he's got a te connected texture pack so that uh, I obviously don't have a silk touch shovel or I have, oh, my shovel's got fortune. That's why. So if you put this gravel in here, then it, it kind of like connects and does some cool texture stuff, uh, which really works out well in paths. And I find it way more useful because then you've got dirt, coarse dirt, and then gravel as like three different browns that you can use, uh, which I find really interesting. Um, and then stuff like this, like just these little subtle overlays for bricks and, and cobble, like a really, that kind of stuff just, it doesn't affect how you build with it in a wall, but it affects how it looks on the ground. And I think that that's a really effective way of doing textures. Um, I find this stuff tricky to work with, these overlays here. They, they look good, but it, you don't always get what you think you're going to get. So I'm still working on how, how it happens and how to predict what's, what it's doing. Um, I feel like actually we can probably take some of these back. Looks like there's a log behind there. Yeah. I still haven't really cleaned up the inside of this. Um, I think, I think we're just about ready to start up here and this the good thing about this is like this is already pretty much done and all we need to do is just use cobblestone stairs and uh and regular stairs in a combination I should probably eat actually yes there is a coarse dirt slab and it is replacing the petrified slab so they took some stuff that you can't really get in survival or you can't get easily in survival and just replace those textures, which is nice. The thing that I don't like about, about the texture thing is that you have to replace an existing texture, which I find, I mean, it's a challenge because you don't want to change something that everybody builds with. And that's what I, I like about a lot of these textures, like changing coarse dirt doesn't really affect how you build things. Like you're really only ever going to use coarse dirt in the ground, right? So changing coarse dirt doesn't affect everything, but I do find if I can see it here a little bit far away. Uh, so this is, I don't know what the white block is, but this is granite and terracotta, probably white terracotta. And there's an overlay there that looks like it's, it's paint or plaster being chipped off, which I think is really, really cool, but it doesn't, like it doesn't affect the terracotta if you use it on its own. So it's really smart, right? Uh, but there is other examples of, I can't remember what brick it is or what, what thing it is that just look completely different. I think it's like birch or birch leaves or something. And that I find challenging to figure out how I would use it. But uh, let's do, let's start with the middle. That's probably the easiest way to go. So I feel like that, I feel like this has got, I think this is the log. It should have a log underneath it. Yes. Okay. Hey, there's crafting mantis. I always like to let people know when I'm streaming, just so that they know. Uh, so we're going to go with, say, that, and then two. We'll do two regular ones. And then this will have like cobble. And then regular stairs. And then cobblestone walls. And then this makes a funny pattern where it's like three solid blocks in a diagonal. So wait a minute. Thanks for the subscription. Welcome back. 
for the seventh time. Wow, that's crazy. Cosmic, I see what you did there. I have to I have to be careful when Cosmic Dancer is in the stream because my the big graphic, you know, says Jared has subscribed, and then I have to double check. <laughs> Uh, okay, I think I have to look at this side here. So okay, so, so it's not three in a diagonal. It's it's a little funny little L shape. So solid and then two solid there. Okay, and let's go with this and then two of these. And I guess it's just one more solid block. Yeah. That. And then stair, slab, stair. I think we'll do, I need to make a cobble slab. Oh, I already had them, darn it. <laughs> so where do I go in here? Stair, slab, stair. So slab. I kind of wish there was more, more inventory space for things. I guess I don't need the axe. I think they're both facing the same direction, right? And then what's going on here? Oh, there's this lab. Okay. That's done. That looks right. I think the difference, of course, is that we've got snow on some of these solid blocks. Yeah. Okay. So same idea on the other end. We'll start in the middle. And we'll do... Let's change it up. Let's not necessarily match what's under what's underneath. Now this I thought was a neat, kind of a neat way, like having this like angle right here. So it's from here, it's just three at an angle. And it looks like I'm missing something, some sort of support stone. So we'll have to go look and see what that's supposed to be. But let's do one of these, one of those, and then we'll just do it this way for now. I have to remember to go down there. Check this out. And that's, so this is where it gets tricky. You have to make a decision as to where you're going to change the direction that the stairs are facing. Crystal Alpaca. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm not working on a texture pack, but I'm using a new texture pack on a different server. Uh, so it's that way and then this way. Just hold on. Let me finish this thought and then we can, we can talk about it. I'll do that and then that. And then we'll do a regular, regular step. See, they're pretty close. They're not too far off. Just a slightly different temperature. I mean, I guess you could see it more when, when we back up. Um, so Crystal Alpaca, yeah, uh, this is the Vastin server, Realm of Vastin, and we're using a texture pack called uh, A Little Taste of Vastin, heavily based on A Little Taste of Germ because uh, Jermsey Boy is the person that has made the texture pack, and he has done a recent video of the latest updates to A Little Taste of Germ, most of which are in A Little Taste of Aston. So you can check out Jermsey Boy on YouTube and watch his latest texture pack update video, and you'll see. Uh, I'm going to pop downstairs and see what is supposed to be underneath this angle, um, because I, I don't want to forget to change it. So let's just take a look under here. So there is the angle, and it's supposed to be a stair facing west. So I'm missing a stair right there. And that also means that I might be missing a stair over here. And it looks like I am.
What am I trying to jump up on? Oh, let's try this. Oh, Joel does not do parkour well, FYI. There. I think that's right. Yeah, that looks good. Thanks for all the uh, the commands in the chat, Cosmic Dancer. Much appreciated. Is it is it um just bang command? Will that show everybody what the commands are? Because everybody can use them. I should remind people that it's not just mods. You can anybody can can tap a, a command. No giving grief to Joel. Ha ha ha. Very very clever. Go dig a hole or something. I'm teasing her. Uh, crafting Mance is, is is the hole digger. She's a monster. She posted a, an image on the Discord earlier this week of the hole that she that she dug, and it is monstrous. <laughs> like I just I don't even want to think about it. So so much so much digging. leveling the mesa right now so she's flattening the mesa she's just dismantling it <laughs> flatten all the things oh sorry you gotta go alpaca but thanks for coming by hope you can come back soon uh stream says hi stream says hi again I guess it's not again. She doesn't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so same idea over here. We've got this one, two, three, and it looks like I was correct and that I did need to put that stair there. So let's uh, do the opposite. Let's do this and then two of those. We'll do this and cobble. And then stairs. Hmm. And then this is this kind of like two in a line. And I'm also missing some support blocks there too. I think. Where does that go? So that goes right next to that one. So like that. Oh no, these are these are the support blocks, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm just kind of putting this together randomly. And then we've got two stairs facing out. And let's do Is that right? That's not right. slab this is a slab and then that's just a low block that threw me over there too same idea just had snow on it try to save the landscape everywhere so you'll hollow out the mesa yeah, I I try not to completely level stuff. We we used a lot of glass on the citadel, so so I decided to level that desert, but it was a small desert and we've we're kind of making a build on it, so it's not the end of the world. Um oh no, there's no floor there. FYI. Okay. Uh almost there. So now we've got to mimic this other side. Two three. This is just a solid do that i really i do like this look when it works it works very well uh and then this is solid that stair i think that's all that makes sense there and then we can maybe do Maybe do that there and then have a 
Hmm. Maybe we'll try. If I do that over there, I'd try not to do exactly the same thing on every side. Ugh. So many holes. Well, I think at this point, it might be worth taking a flight to look and see what this is going to look like. Oh, nice. So Crafting Mantis is watching the stream. There she is. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> Electric gecko. Yeah, it is hard to save something that falls down. So there are the two. Wow. Server. Hello. Uh, there are the two. The two towers or the two. I'm not sure what you want to call them. It's a little bit flatter on the ends than I thought it was going to be. But that's okay. Looking pretty good. They're pretty solid. I want to, uh, I think I want to tear down some of this, this hill. I don't like this. Kind of blocks everything. So we might, we might take a chunk out of this for fun. Uh, I don't know what everybody wants to do for the approach here. So I need to talk with other people on the server. Hey, look, they're taller than three blocks. So they're a tower. We've got stuff around here, historical fortresses and stuff like that. And these would be called towers because they're vertical. What else would you call them? They're not houses. That's pretty aggressive looking. It almost looked like a Viking helmet. <laughs> it feels, it feels darker on this side for some reason. I guess it's just because of the sun. No, sun's over there. That's weird. Not sure why. Oh, you know what it is? It's because it's the buttons. It's the buttons. They're not there. Okay, so let's uh, take our wood. Dark oak fence, blah. And see what we can do up here. So this I just kind of stumbled upon as a way of, of putting a board around here to get up on, but not have it be super, super similar. And Jermsey Boy has changed the texture of some of the trap doors to be just like just like the planks that they're made out of. And it's really handy. So we can make a little bit of those. I still have this terrible bug where uh, the, um, the inventory will pop me out facing a funny angle. So if you get really jarred visually when I'm bopping around in my inventory, I apologize. It is just as jarring for me, I assure you. We need slabs, don't we? Pancakes, does that work? <laughs> yeah, pancakes always works. Pancakes is always a thing. Um, three in the middle. Nope, not those. I do find them hard to differentiate in your hotbar though. It's one thing I will say. Oh, they're facing a different direction. Right. Did I do that over here? I did not. I guess it doesn't really matter. Adds a little bit of variety. Let's do this. Let's back that up. We'll, we'll do it this way. There's two. That. And how did I do this? Just another three. So here, I think I might actually change these to go this way. Yeah. And then this is just another corner bit, I think. Yep. It's actually pretty straightforward. Except for when you screw up and place the block in the wrong spot. I 
just like that. We've got the border done. Looking good, looking good. And now to decide, hmm, I really, I kind of like this hole here, but I know, I know we've got to fill it in because I keep falling down for starters. Uh, so obviously we'll have to come back a certain distance to get down the stairs. little close maybe we can put oh that's gonna look kind of funny because it's a different color um what could we do there that would make sense hmm i guess i'll come back to it i mean that's about where i want it to stop Okay, let's go on the wrong way. It's just so used to going outside. Uh, let's see here. There, two of those, one there. I am really not thinking too hard about this and just kind of Hoping a pattern doesn't emerge. <laughs> the the random cracked texture does help, I will say. And I try to not to put more than two or three in a row of anything. Let's change that. Let's make this a regular andesite. So that square kind of sticks out. So maybe we do, oh, I tried to grab it there. So does anything here look weird? Might've overdone it on the rough end site. There's no real pattern. It looks pretty random, but there's a lot to it. I feel like it needs just something else, but I don't know what. Yeah, I like the random cracked thing too. Like you just, you don't know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it's a little bit problematic when you get a cracked and it's because of the block location in the world. And no matter what, I'm pretty sure like if I break this, and I put andesite back, it's cracked and there's nothing I can do about that. So you kind of just have to roll with it. And now it's crazy dark in here. We should probably put up some temporary lighting. That does look cool, doesn't it? So I don't exactly know what to do on the inside. I haven't quite gotten that far yet. But for now, I think the top is done. One idea we had, actually, I should check with Crafting Mantis. I'm pretty sure it is, but I want to check to see if Fire Tech is off. Sweet. Because what we were thinking of was to have a couple of big, like, bonfire braziers here in the middle to keep the people that would be up here defending the roof and keeping watch they'd be able to stay warm with a big fire. This staircase is a little bit close to the middle for the size of the fire that I wanted to do, but we could maybe kind of block that off as a something will go here eventually. So where's the middle? That is the middle. So I guess I can't go any farther than that. 
Yeah, that's not as good. I guess maybe it doesn't have to be in the middle middle. Maybe it could be off to the side or we could have two, two small ones, maybe. Not really sure. Because what I would do, what I would want to do is be like three there, probably three there, like that. And then I would just pile up some cool stuff in the middle here, like magma blocks and wood and stuff, and just have it be you know, like a fire, maybe set on something like two or three blocks tall. Be kind of neat. But I don't, I don't know quite if that's what I want to do, especially me could because it would be so close to the stairs here. I don't know if that would be good. I mean, you're not going to see it until you turn around, but I don't know how that looks. I don't know. Not sure if I like, if I like that look. But anyway. So let's see. I think we. Ha I think I have time to do the inside. So I'm going to uh, dump my inventory a little bit in here, get rid of all the stone stuff. We need to go back and get stone buttons from the main the main house. And I'm going to leave all my wood on me, but we're going to need to get some more. Um, we're going to need to get some more spruce. We're going to have to harvest some more spruce for the server. Uh, bone meal. I might have to get more bone meal too. Uh, but I'm going to go fly back over to the main main hut. And then I'll take a brief break.